This is Twit. Azure it cloud is. goes down <laughs> for the count. Mary Jo? Here's, here's how my day started today. <laughs> Bef- I was in bed, heard a ding on my phone. It looked at the clock a little before seven. Should I look at it or not? Okay, look. It's a customer, big customer, Microsoft saying, I don't know if you know, there's a huge Azure cloud outage happening right now. So then, of course, I couldn't sleep. I had to get up and check and look. What was happening was a global outage of virtual machines, Windows virtual machines on Azure, um, that had been going on for like six or seven hours by that time. Um, Not a good way for anybody to start their day. Uh, (laughs) um, Microsoft has been moving various pieces of the Azure infrastructure over to to part of their infrastructure that supports ARM, not that ARM, Azure Resource Manager, the other ARM. And it sounds like something broke while they were doing that. And so there's a, <laughs> that's my technical explanation. Something broke. I, I'll tell you their tech, I'll Who tell you their this? explanation, which is not even in, in English. When I, when I read this, I'm like, this doesn't even, it's not even in English. Microsoft said a required artifact version data could not be queried. What does that even mean? Guys. <laughs> uh, and then they said, you know, there was this compute resource provider on the back end, VM guest agent, couldn't be queried from the repository. But don't worry, only a subset of people were affected. So anybody, anybody pretty much worldwide trying to use a Windows VM on Azure, a new one, not one that was already in existence. But if you were like setting one up or deleting one or managing one, you were affected by this. So there were, there was a lot of outrage on Twitter as usual about this. Uh, I will say, as I always do when these things happen, and a few people commented this as well, at least it wasn't your own server where this <laughs> happened. Because <laughs> if guess. this was in your... This was in your company and this happened. It would be a very bad day. So you got somebody when it to blame. On, yeah. When yeah. now it's on Microsoft service, you can blame them, right? Yeah. And you can say, yeah, it's not me. Yeah, it's them, fault. right? Uh, <laughs> Boss. But yeah, it, it yeah. lasted like seven hours oh before God. they could mitigate it. At, so it started around midnight East Coast time and then was resolved around 8 a.m. this oh. morning. Oh. Yeah, so that's a long time for that to happen. Even if it was a subset of VMs, even if it was a subset of users it's still like when i woke up and i looked at the azure status page the whole vm thing across the entire globe was like in trouble mode (laughs) i was like yeah it's bad okay because and it's not just bad because of vms but there's so many services that are dependent on vms like all of the devops services in azure for example git git ops um all that stuff yeah it was it was a rough start to to wednesday (laughs) But supposedly all fixed now, and they're going to po- post a full root cause analysis within a day or so. So, yeah. There we go. Okay. It's funny how um, Facebook, this happens to Facebook, it seems to happen a lot lately. Yeah. I, I had just been thinking the other day, we've had an Azure outage in a while. I should never think that because then I jinx myself. <laughs> oh, it's your fault. <laughs> right. I blame myself for is. this, everyone. There it is. It's me. Because I was just thinking, oh, Azure's been up oh, pretty well. It's been pretty lately. good lately. <laughs> it's funny. Great job, Mary Jo. I know. I, I take all, all of your service tickets, send them to me. 